In this video, I'm going to be outlining why college degrees are pretty useless in most IT certification jobs. My name is Andrew Ramdial, and I am an instructor for many technology classes, from entry level all the way to hacking classes, hold over 60 certifications. Let's get started. So I teach a lot of different technology classes to many, many different students, whether it all the way from A plus to to CEH, ethical hacking, to CISSP, and so on. I've been a pen tester for many years too. And one of the things that, one common question I get from students continuously is, oh, Andrew, do I need a college degree? Especially the entry level folks. Maybe you're considering taking your A plus or your network plus and you're thinking, should I do this or should I go to college? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you why going to college is gonna be pretty useless, especially for the entry level jobs in IT, such as a help desk job, uh, a basic security analyst job. College degrees are pretty useless on this. So let's get into it. I'm gonna give you guys seven reasons and let's get started. Now this is in no particular order whatsoever. It's not like one is worse than the other because they're all pretty bad. So let's get started. So I got my list over here. So number one, the problem is that is it's not current. Most of the things that we learn in colleges, and believe me, I've spoken to many students. By the way, I have a master's degree in information technology, so I know the whole college, the whole college curriculum that they put out there. Number one is that most colleges, what they're offering in universities, what they're offering in information technology is pretty outdated. In other words, they may be teaching you old technology, old terms, old methods to secure networks, old networking concept that no one uses anymore. A lot of the professors may stay updated, but by the time they update their curriculum, that technology is old again. Believe me, there's a lot of bureaucracy in the world of higher education that when instructors like myself want to change curriculums or change courses in a college setting, not in a vocational school, uh, it takes a long time to do. And by the time that the technology is outdated, don't be surprised if you go take a college level class and you're still learning Windows 7. Some of you may even be starting learning Windows XP. Trust me, I've seen that. It is terrible. So a lot of the things you learn in college is outdated. Okay, number two, no hands-on. Okay, and what that means is that a lot of times it's most conceptual. IT is not a conceptual field. This, this isn't history, okay? IT is not history. It's not English. It's not philosophy. IT, especially entry-level IT, it is hands-on. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that you got to go and you got to configure things, right? You see me do these A-plus classes, these security plus numbers. I do a lot of labs, right? If you take my classes, I do a lot of labs, installing operating systems, securing networks, setting up firewalls. When you do entry-level IT, what's happening is that the, you have to be hands-on. You're hands-on with the users. You're holding the user's hand to fix their issues or set up systems for them. And a lot of these colleges don't have any hands-on program whatsoever. You read a, a bunch of books on some theories about it. You write some essays and you do some questions and boom, you pass your class. That, that's what's happening in higher education today. Number three, no certification. And this is a, this is a killer. It's sad to know that many students go to well-named universities, and I will not be naming any colleges or universities here, and then have to come to TIA like us to get their certifications. These people spend tens of thousands of dollars on their education and still not get a certification. The certification is mandatory in most jobs in IT. Most IT jobs, help desk jobs, will require an A plus at least or a network plus. Most security analyst job nowadays requires a security plus. You go out, you spend four years in school, and you don't even have a certification. All you have is this degree, and then I still have to come and study. What were you studying? Because the certification, believe this or not, aligns more to the job than the degree does. I'm not sure how they make their degrees, but whatever they're doing, the process they're doing, it's pretty damn useless because... When CompTIA makes their certification, they analyze the jobs of a technician and they make those certifications to match the description of those jobs. A lot of times, the, the, the concepts and the, the, the exam outline that we see in A+, Net+, Security+, Plus is written by professionals like myself or maybe like you who's been in IT for many, many years. 
So that alone tells you, you don't have the certification, you're probably not gonna find a job, and that degree didn't give it to you, you still have to go spend more time, more money, and get it after your college degree, and that is a tragedy that is terrible. All right, this one I love. It's gonna be a bunch of useless classes, a bunch of useless classes that you have to study. How many of you guys just doing a college degree and studying things like history? Technology isn't about history, it's about the future. You shouldn't study things that are pretty useless to you. The only remedial classes I believe that you should learn when you're studying a degree in technology is going to be things like communication skills, maybe even some English. But I think the, the English that we learned in high school was more than enough. Now, I've taken English classes in college, philosophy, and all these types of garbage classes that really you will never use. So a bunch of useless classes like history. And you can't get away from it. You want an associate degree? You want a bachelor's degree? You got to do these useless classes. You learning calculus is pretty useless in terms of doing a help desk job. Now, while some degrees will require advanced math, information technology degrees will require some advanced math, and so will the job like programming. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking more like entry-level technicians here. Okay, number five, a long time to finish. So... You could right now go get your A+, plus, whether you take a class with us or, or you study on your own. You could do that within a month or two months. You could put in the time and effort, review our, our courses or anybody's courses, do your practice exam, study well, do it on your own, take apart a computer, put it back together, and you could become A-plus certified, become Network Plus certified, and boom, you can apply for an entry-level job. Boom, you can be working in two to three months. When you go for a degree, two years at a minimum, three, four years, you, it might take you five years to start working if you got to get a bachelor's degree, then, God, then you got to go get the certification before you can start working. All of that is lost time that you could be building up your resume of experience and be making money instead of spending them. All right, number six is, is going to get into that. Getting into debt. Okay? Getting into debt. Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of controversy going on within the United States, uh, and maybe around the world too, with college costs. The enormous rising of college costs. And this is not good because a lot of people are spending, some people hundreds of thousands of dollars for some, for some universities, some people tens of thousands of dollars. You coming out of school, you got an enormous debt in it. And, you know, th this leaves you that you have to spend 10 years paying it off. It's, you could have took that money and bought, bought a house with it. You could have bought a rental property and collect rental income from it. Instead, you gave it to some university to learn useless courses, outdated technology. Okay. And the last thing is, and this one is going to be a little controversial. I kept it for the last, is that the degree may not even be needed for the job. In other words, the degree is just not needed. A lot of entry-level jobs don't care if you have a degree or not. They just, oh, you got your A+, plus, you got your net plus. You know what? I, I'm, that's good enough. Come and start working for us. Most job in technology, except managerial, high level, over $100,000 a year positions, those positions generally require a degree. All right, business degrees, especially uh, information technology management degrees. But for those entry level jobs, they don't care about the degree. So in that sense, you may be getting a degree and not need it, wasting all this time for no reason. So if you guys remember the seven things, remember, it's outdated technology, it's not current, number one. Number two, no hands-on, all right? So you're learning conceptual things, you'll never know how to apply it. Number three, no certifications, and that's a tragedy that you still have to come and pay me to get it. Number four, a bunch of useless classes like history, long time to finish Five, six, getting into debt. And seven, employers may not want it. Now, you guys are saying, Andrew, that's all great. And, and, and some of you guys may completely disagree with me on these things and say, Andrew, it's needed. Why? Well, there are some technology professions that I do agree with that does need a degree. Like what? Well, if you're doing a computer science, programming in particular, and I've, I've tried this, programming in particular is something that I would say... 50% of us can probably learn by our own, but advanced level programming does require knowledge of certain math concepts uh, in order to do certain algorithms within the programming 
world. In some of those, in some circumstances, it may be okay. You know what? You're probably going to get a bachelor's degree to learn the math. But remember, it's not complex math that you have to go and get a degree with. Some of you may even push back on this and say, hey, Andrew, you're, you're wrong because all the employers want it. Not true. Not every employer wants this. And if, the, and if an employer right now wants a degree, like they put on their job description, bachelor's degree, an A-plus certification, for you to pick up a damn phone at a help desk and tell a user how to change a password, or how to reset an IP address, then that employer is damn crazy because it's not needed. Right now, we have, we do have, and I agree, a, a really disconnection. Employers want uh, a degree and, and all these certifications to have a user change passwords. I mean, come on, have, have a technician change password. You know, that's what's happening now. But anyway, this video was meant to tell you why uh, degrees, especially IT degrees, are pretty useless in IT careers, especially entry-level IT careers. I did mention the higher up, you will need it. I'll do another video on that. If you enjoyed this video and you agree with me, click on the like button, subscribe to our channel. If you don't agree with me and you think I'm absolutely nuts, leave a comment below. Let me know why I'm nuts or let me know why you think I'm wrong. And I would be glad to have that discussion with you. If you put a comment and I think it's good, I'll make a video on it. And I'll see you in the next video.